Hello. Hey, how we doing? Welcome back to Hobbies with Jose, everybody. Dominic, Zan, what's up, dude? Dominic, let me know. I don't know if you're seeing ads right now. Are we, are we timed out on ads? I think I still have like 30 seconds left on ads. I don't know if you're seeing them too, though. Uh, do let me know, or if you are seeing ads, you probably can't hear me. Um, but welcome. Thanks for being in, bro. Oh, you don't get ads. That's right. That's right. You're the MVP. You're the MVP VIP, right? <laughs> But I'm back. I'm back on a Monday night. I, I feel like streaming some more. I hope you all, all indulge me. Um, I need to get back to some more Zelda. I've been, I've been having the Zelda itch. And I've seen my doctor about it. He said, yeah, you need to play some more Zelda. That's the only cure. That's the only cure for this. I think we're finally, finally going to start to make some more progress on the main story. We're inching our way closer towards the, uh, the uh, point on the map where we can progress. Obviously, we had... Um, couple of diversions along the way you know uh, but everything's interesting about the game though right mm. no iced coffee tonight i always i always kind of regret having iced coffee at night i don't i have i have the temptation to have it but then as i was getting closer towards the end of the stream i think we did what like five hours almost like my eyes are burning i feel like i should i should i should be sleepy but i'm not because of the caffeine and it just messes me up. I have been taking these pills, though. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it. I think I mentioned how I've been getting this um, this ringing in my ear sometimes. And I think I've had it for over a year. It would like come, come and go really quick. Like a ringing in the ears, but then it would go away. You don't really think a whole lot about it. But then about a month or two ago, I would get the ringing in the ears, but then it wouldn't go away. And I'm like, oh, that's not, that's not good. I shouldn't be having a constant ringing in the ears. And so um, I went to go see my my doctor for that. the the uh, The good news is that I, I don't think I'm going to lose my hearing. I don't think that's the good news. The bad news is this is called tinnitus, and if anybody doesn't know, there's no cure for tinnitus. Apparently, there is no cure for tinnitus. So they told me, yeah, there's not much we can do. Uh, we can go see an ear specialist. Maybe they'll have a special test that they can do and maybe find something. But they were looking inside the ears, and uh, you know the ears are fine. It's not an infection, so there's that. So I bought these like over-the-counter pills that are uh, supposed to help treat ear ringing, and it's a crazy thing. It's like a dual pack of these little containers. Um, it's a, a pack is for nighttime, a pack is for daytime, but the nighttime have melatonin to help you sleep. I have plenty of ringing in my ears, but I <laughs> like hard rock, and I like it loud. See, that's the thing that the doctor asked me. Like, are you are you um, around loud music are you doing something like is, is there a loud noise in your job and i'm like no i listen to movies and music at a normal level i work in an office it's pretty quiet and i did tell them oh i i do model kits and i have a um, an air compressor for my airbrush the air compressor is not loud though tattoo gig what up bro surprise yeah thanks for joining dude good to have you here i'm just talking about my whole medical issues i hope you don't mind and so the doctor asked me, well, is there something going on in your life that that's, you're making all this noise? No, 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 no. I don't think so. But um, even without that, it's possible to develop that, apparently. Um, it, it got a little bit, God, a little bit annoying. Like, you can hear it mostly at night when everything's super quiet and you're trying to sleep and all you hear is a ringing in your ears. It can affect your sleep. And if, if it gets bad and you start losing a lot of sleep, it can get, it can affect your health, you know? But the, uh, these pills, though, at the very least, the one for nighttime has a melatonin, which has helped me profoundly, like to the point where I'm having some deep, deep REM sleep. And I've been having like seems these crazy ass dreams. Like I hardly ever dream. All right. I hardly ever dream. I was having some crazy ass dreams. Sometimes some not so great dreams. Like it's like weird shit happening, you know, blue streak. What's up? Welcome, dude. You have, oh, you have tinnitus too? Oh, shit, I guess there was in the family. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Because neither of my parents have it. Neither of my parents have it. Well, they have, they don't have it like that bad, you know? Thankfully, though, thankfully, um, this has been a, like a 30-day supply. And I'm on, I'm on like the third or fourth week. And it seems to have been helping. It seems to be helping. I don't hear the constant ringing anymore. Although I, I still hear it every now and then. But it's like the, when I hear it, it's, it's barely there. It's... You can you can you can know um you know not pay any, any attention to it just avoid it and so I, I I don't know if this is something that I have to take for the rest of my life I don't know 
I do have a regular checkup with my doctor tomorrow, but I have the uh, specialist appointment coming up next week. I'm still going to go, and I'm going to be like, hey, should I keep taking this? It's been working for me. Should I keep taking it? I don't know. What are they going to say? They're going to say, no, you should stop. Of course not. This is, this is the number one recommended medication for ear ringing uh, by ear doctors. So there's that. That's my life now. That's my life. Oh, man. That and I sit about 10 feet from a loud, loud mouth. <laughs> so be at work. Hard time controlling his damn volume. Yeah. I, I take it you probably don't wear any like um, any earplugs at work though, right, Dom? Like it's not that bad. We have to ear wear earplugs. I'm actually kind of considering it. When I went to go see Dune 2, Dune 2, by the way, no spoilers. If anybody hasn't seen it, Dune 2 is freaking fantastic. Fucking awesome. Oh my God. I love that movie so much. Uh, it seems like we're going to get a Dune 3. I think they're barely starting to work on it. I cannot wait for it. This is going to be, hopefully, knock on wood, a masterpiece of a trilogy. If you guys haven't seen it, go watch it. Dune 1 is great. Dune 1 is great. Bad Insomnia. Never got it checked. Sometimes I have a hard time sleeping, but it's like very rare. So I don't consider it much of an issue. Prescribed. No, dude, these are actually over the counter that I just, I kind of Googled it myself. I picked these up at CVS. So I didn't have a lot of high hopes. It even says on like on the back, if they, if they don't work, like if you don't experience less ringing of the ears, you'll get your money back. And I've, and I've already been getting ready. Like I would have like my receipt printed and the email ready to send out. Hey, this shit not working, but it seems to have been working. So I'm not going to do that. You know, send your picture later. Okay. I'll send you a picture later, dude. I'll send you a picture later. Um, there were like 35 bucks, you know, so more expensive than I would consider something to, over the counter to be, but it seems to be working, so we'll see. I'm almost done with the 30-day supply. I'll have to see how it, how I react after I stop using it. You know, if I can start using it again, we'll see. Ah, uh, I think I'm getting um, the knockoff. Knockoff Bumblebee Nemesis Prime on Amazon. Maybe the new Bumblebee movie. Rumble, nice, dude. Um, I'm trying to think. I am so backed up in my boxes. I don't remember what I've opened or not. I own Bumblebee movie rumble i don't think i've opened it yet it's still waiting to be opened have i opened it no i haven't right no 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 i'm thinking about studio series 86 frenzy i know i opened a cassette i know i, I know i opened a cassette i'm pretty sure i also own ultra magnus i think i own um the uh concept design ss uh megatron that one i'm actually gonna open up real soon remember i i filmed half of uh outside the box yesterday I was going to film the other half today, but my mom told me she made some delicious pozole. She said, Mijo, come over for, for some pozole. I said, yes, mom. You're, you're not going to say no to mom's cooking, right? So I was over there. After pozole, like the last thing I want to do is kind of is kind of film. I'll do a stream. I'll do a stream all day. <laughs> this is super chill. But actually, going back into the studio to film another outside the box or the rest of it, I'm like, I'll do this tomorrow. <laughs> I'll do this tomorrow. But I should be opening uh, oh, that up. Oh, spoilers. For that tomorrow, so we'll see. Uh, no, if he keeps his mouth shut. Oh, the room's pretty quiet. It's it's funny how people are like that. I mean, maybe you can tell them, hey, dude, bring down the volume just a little bit, you know? We could we could all be, you know, you can tell them like in a civilized way, right? We're out in the machine shop. Oh, it can get noisy if the door's open. Got it. But the room's have pretty bare. Uh, people's voices rise. Acoustics in the room <laughs> tend to enhance. Oh, no. So the problem is you have really good acoustics and how the voice carries. Got it. Maybe because you're around machines, the other person's used to talking a little bit loud. Who knows? Who knows? So you got to deal with that, dude. Uh, in Canada, Voyager is 50 bucks without tax. And where I am, 15% tax. Wow, that's a bit high. I think for us here in California, it's 10%. I don't even know. I don't even know. I think it's 10. Knockoff is 26. Wow, hey, that's not bad. Hopefully, it's a good quality knockoff, though. They can be kind of hit and miss. Hopefully, the the the, uh, the quality of the plastic is good. Good luck with you, dude. Let us know. Do let us know. Told them every, every way possible. Just a dumbass. And don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah that's like, there's always somebody like that at work. There's always somebody like that at work. And it's funny, where I work is just the boss of me. So that dude is probably me, you know? <laughs> oh, I just don't listen sometimes. Dang it. I don't listen. Mm. I'm also drinking this 
lovely drink. I know it's backwards. It says Waterloo. This is a, a naturally flavored uh, carbonated water, black cherry flavor. It's actually really good. It's pretty good. I'm, I'm actually trying to not drink as much soda or uh, sugary drinks. This has zero sugar, zero calories. And you know what? The flavor is not bad. It has, of course, a little bit of that aftertaste, but it's not bad. I think I can get, I can get used to this. I actually uh, took this from my sister while I was over at my parents' place. I don't know where she got these at. There's a good chance she probably got this at Trader Joe's. She likes to shop there. And so there's a good chance this thing's probably expensive. <laughs> Healthy things usually are a bit pricey than the not-so-good-for-you things. Mm. And I've got water. But yeah, no coffee tonight. Um, I don't think it's good for me if I have a late-night iced coffee and then I take my melatonin pill. My body's caffeinated, but then it's like, but then it's like, relax. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm working against my body here, so not doing that. I'm almost done with these pills anyways, but they've been helping me profoundly profoundly not just with the ringing but actually with the melatonin to help me sleep it's good stuff but also i don't want to take too much of it because then i think my body will get used to it as well so so we'll see i'm going to be done with the 30 day supply we'll see how i do afterwards uh get those carbonated waters and if you get the zero zero sugar water flavoring you can make those taste like soda wait a minute what now get those carbonated waters and if you get the zero sugar oh the water flavor are the are you talking about the little packets with like the powder with the flavoring? Tastes like soda. Okay. They don't add sugar, right? Zero sugar. Okay. Oh, like the Mio. I've seen those. I don't think I've tried them. I don't think I've tried them. Are they kind of pricey too though? I mean, you know what? I'm not picky. I can, I, I'm perfectly fine with water. Like when I go over to the parents' house and I'm having like a good meal, sometimes I just tell them, just give me water. I'll just have a nice water, you know, I'll be good with that. Hmm. Sometimes I will make lemonade here uh, at my place. I'll, I'll make lemonade and I'll, and I'll make iced tea and I'll blend them together to make, um, what's it called? Arnold Arnold Palmer. I love that stuff. It's like a lemony iced tea. I love it. But it's got a lot of sugar. I mean, it, not a lot of sugar, but it's got sugar in it, you know? So I don't make that a whole lot. I'll probably stop. Anywho, how are you doing tonight on a Monday night? Hopefully having a pretty good start to the week. Um... Work was a little bit busy today, but I actually like when it's busy. I actually like when it's busy, but not crazy. When it's just busy, the day goes by super fast. Before you know it, day's over, time to head home. I love that. I love that. If it gets hectic, though, I just like it to be like in a controlled manner, in a controlled state. Tonight, we're going to keep trekking through Legend of Zelda. Give me some tears. But we're not going to have a sad time, though. If anything, we're going to have tears of joy. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, can get zero sugar brands. Just make it makes it taste better. Carbonated waters, all brands I use. Those flavors can cause uh, carbonated water tastes like carbonated water to me. Interesting. Okay. I'll have to check them out. Sometimes they can have like a bit of an advert. It's like a, like a diet soda kind of, you know. I'll give them a shot. I mean, I did have a nice... A nice cherry Pepsi while I was watching Dude too, like a literal bucket of Pepsi. So obviously, I still have soda every now and then. You know, gotta have a regular soda with some popcorn while while watching the movies and whatnot. But that movie was good though. That movie was good, man. Just the cinematography alone, man. The visuals on that movie, astounding. I do kind of wish I would have made the effort to see it in IMAX. I saw it just on a regular screen. I think it would have been that much better on IMAX, so. But that's okay. Still enjoyed it. Uh, how was TFCon? I've never been to one, but really want to go to one. You know what? I enjoyed it, dude. I did talk about it yesterday. It TFCon is... Um, I've never been to TFCon myself. I've been to Comic-Con um, years ago, years ago in San Diego, which is one of the biggest conventions, I, I think, in the world, if not, if not the U.S. I've been there three times. And I knew it wasn't going to be as big as San Diego Comic-Con. But even still, I thought it was a little bit smaller than what I thought it was going to be. You know? We got the early passes. General admission was at 12. Uh, we got the early passes for 9. I think we showed up like around 9.30ish. And even then, there wasn't really that much of a line to get in. We were like in line 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes to get in. 
And inside, it, there was a crowd. There were people there, but I wouldn't say overly packed. I wouldn't say overly packed, but you did have to kind of wiggle around some people here and there. And I would say we saw the whole thing, like the entire show floor of vendors. About an hour, maybe? Maybe less than that? Um, and then my sister got there later. She got there a little bit late, so... When she arrived, we did another round of, uh, of all the vendors so she could check out everything out. But you know what? I still got to see a lot of, a lot of cool stuff. Because I just recently bought my car, though, I didn't have, I didn't have the funds to, you know, go crazy with, with purchases, right? I bought, I bought one item. I took some pictures of some nice artists that I was hoping to meet. And uh, that was pretty much it. You know, I did see quite a few G1 voice actors. Not the big ones. I didn't see Peter Cullen. I didn't see Frank Welker. I think they were like in a separate location because their stuff was all sold out. But I saw some of like the lesser known ones. I saw I saw the actor who plays Grimlock. I forgot his name. You'll have to forgive me. I forgot his name. But there was a line to see like the the the, the voice actors and whatnot. So I didn't feel like getting into another line for that. But there were some writers for that as well. And the artist alley section, there weren't really like a whole lot of artists. There were like maybe like three or four. I saw two of them. I bought, I bought some prints, bought a book from one of them. Got some nice autographs, took some pictures, took a whole bunch of pictures. Everything's up on the Discord as well as other social medias. But overall, I would say it was, it was cool. It was cool. There was one panel I kind of wanted to check out that was the Transformers animated panel. But it was so much later in the day at 5 p.m. I, di I didn't know what we were going to do until then, so we just left. But of course, the pictures were online as soon as the panel was over, you know. So it was good. Back in 23... TFCon at the end of October, uh, but the year before, I was at Orlando, mm, all for vacation. I was a year early. Oh, got it. I know they have, um, they do have TFCons in Orlando, right? They, they have a couple different locations. <clears throat> I have to imagine some are bigger than others. You, I would think that the one for Los Angeles would be a pretty sizable one, you know? Maybe it's a different location in Los Angeles. I don't know. I don't know if I would go back. It was in, in the city of Burbank, which is a bit farther up north um, than L.A. And I'm like below L.A. So it was, it was a bit of a drive. If there was one like closer to me, I think I would consider it. But it was a good experience. I enjoyed it. It was cool. I'll talk. I do talk about it the next outside the box. That'll hopefully be going up in, the, I don't know, two, three, four days. We'll see. Okay. Have we gone inside of here yet? I think we did this one already, right? Yeah, there's no entrance. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land. We can skip this. We can skip it. Um, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, we did do this one. We did do this one. You know what we should do? I think that's it for this sky section here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we jumped up from over here. Bolt right here. Oh, he's at the Gazette. Which we cannot warp to. I'm going to go warp back to the mainland. I'm going to head back over here. And um, do a little bit of an upgrade. I'm thinking another heart container will suit us fine. I think we've gotten plenty of uh, stamina lately. We could use some more hearts. We have been dying before. Oh. Uh, I don't think I came to the right spot, did I? I sure did. Let's do that. That was just a detour. Hmm. <laughs> Here we go. Lookout Landing. Isn't that the name of a location in the Transformers animated movie? Lookout. Lookout Tower. 
Look out something. That sounds familiar. Lookout Mountain. Yeah, that sounds familiar. That's right. Something. I, who is it? Who is it that says that? Hot Rod. Hot Rod says that, huh? Why you gotta be a whip, Danny? Well, you could see it from Lookout Mountain or something like that. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Heart, heart, heart container. Yeah. Let's do it. There we go. Hmm. Nice. Hey. Cool. I feel stronger already. Uh, let's see here. We're going to head back. Man, I wish we could travel to the Gazette. Okay. You know, a part of me wants to just kind of go around here and just explore a little bit more. Just a little bit more. This is going to be something. Dronox Pass. It's just begging to be explored. Let's go back here. Okay. I don't know if I can call Bolt back from where he's at. I mean, I am in the stable. I can do that. All oh, these things grew back. Wait. Wait. This is not where the stable is. Stable was way over here. Okay, we're not going to do that. I'm going to hoof it. Nope. Um, what's going on here? Wait. Oh, wait. That's not the stable. That's the Gazette. Got it. There we go. I think we can make that. Oh, I'm going to break those little ice ponds, too. Now that I figured out how to do it. I hope there's something cool in them. Nothing. 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 Okay, maybe they're not gonna, they're not gonna have anything. I think there's a couple more over there, but we're not gonna do that. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Thank you. Nope, nope, nope. to cross that bridge though oh no we don't no we don't we're gonna go around we're gonna we're gonna go a little bit of uh, do a little bit of sightseeing right now just check things out nothing wow whack whoop what's this Oh, did I wake you up, dude? Sorry. Okay. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. What are we, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Okay. Off we go. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. They don't break. Oh! Doesn't break when the horse? Oh no! Oh, I'm gonna kill you for that, dude. You are, you are so dead. You are so dead. What's up? What's up? Oh shit, got him. Got him. Whoa, what's this? It's new. Oh, I've never gotten a tentacle before? Interesting. Uh oh. Frozen trout? Taking damage. Let's fix that. Okay, alright. Oh, good thing Bolt is still here. Dude! Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh, did I... Did I... Oh, you bounced it back at him! Oh, that's so good. I don't know you could do that. Ha <laughs> ha! Love it. <laughs> Woo! Hell yeah. Pine cone, okay. Come on, dude. There probably won't be a whole lot to see around here. Oh shit. Oh, damn it. That thing startled me. Is that where the Gerudo live? It is, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, okay. I thought it was bigger. Oh, hey! Where's my horse at? Over here, dude. Alright, stay right there. Whoa, this one doesn't have any materials here. Oh, there they are. Is that it? Can I take his picture? No. Huh. Oh, this one's a bit of an odd shape. Okay. This is not materials. No. These are some ruins here. Okay. I mean, if I gotta make my own stuff, I will do it. Nope, can't grab that. I might have to cut down some trees. over here mm. 
Hmm. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing to work with. That is, um... That is obvious to me. This is going to be a trickier one then, huh? It's over here. Just a rock. Whoa! Purple rupee! Nice. Picking up rocks has finally paid off. Okay, we check that out. Huh. Okay. Do I even have something that I can use to cut trees with? No, I do. I do. I have that one weapon. Uh, what was it? I forgot what it was. I mean, it has to be just using trees, right? Pine cone, yep. But how am I gonna... I don't know if I can fit a trunk through this. Through that opening. Okay. Okay. I wonder if I can cut these in half. I don't think I can. I don't think I can. It is not going to fit in there. Oh my god, it totally fits in there. Stones in the... In in the background? Stones. Oh, these? Oh. Possibly. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? That that should work. Attach that there. That should not be moving whatsoever. Thanks, dude. Alright. Let it go. Let it go. Watch the whole thing topple over. No! Okay. <laughs> hey, we got it. Nice. Hell yeah. Give me some good food. Give me some good uh, chili food. <clears throat> Perfect. Cool, I'll take it. Yeah, I'm starting. Ooh, four minutes. Five hearts. Nice. Spicy mushroom rice balls. And another overnight ticket. Oh, no, wait. A puff shroom? Okay. All right, cool. I'll take it. All right. Where are you at, Bolt? Come on, dude. Get over here. Come on, dude. Come on. There we go. Nice. Like we can have a a running start here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There is something there. Oh, there is definitely something there. I don't think I have enough bombs to try to take that thing out. Um, let's save real quick. I should have bought some bombs while I was at back at the uh, lookout landing. I've got 14. I don't think that's going to be enough, though. That's going to be a boss fight. Uh, 
let's see. We're going to use an extra special bow. Yeah. What is this one? Durability up. Oh, but it's only five damage. Whack. Oh, what's this? Come on, dude. You'll be ready for Ganondorf whenever you face him. True? True? I mean, we were chased around by that Shadow Ganondorf a while back. That was that was uh, unexpected, to say the least. I'm pretty sure what once I'm like right on top of it, it's gonna activate. But um, hmm. I don't know if, if climbing up here would be strategic. Hi. Hello. No. No. Okay. Okay. Huh. It's got to be somewhat activated. I don't need that. Maybe because it's like half buried. Hmm. Interesting. What if I... Oh, it's gotta be... It's gotta be a boss, right? Interesting. Maybe there's a way to try to activate it. It can't just be there for no reason. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. No, I can't do that. What if I just stick this thing? Right in its eyeball. No? Well, that's rather disappointing. Hmm, okay. Well, maybe we'll come back to it. Maybe once the weather changes over here. Yeah, that's probably it. Let's go. Oh, I forgot the horse follows a road. For the most part. What's over here? What's over here? What's this? kind of leads down to here, which I don't want to go there yet. That's another shrine? Yeah? That 
is definitely a shrine. Right on the island there. Mm hmm Okay. Work here. Pine cone. Something's got to be up here. I can smell it. a minute a rock on a tree that's not right oh you little shit it's all it takes huh <laughs> here hold that for me oh shit sorry that's probably all that is over here huh something else farther up here Oh, crap. Don't fall off. Don't, don't fall off. It's, um, what is it? Like a cherry blossom tree? Okay, this is nice. Pretty. Okay. Back to bolt. We go. Damn. Oh, he is terrible at turning. Okay, I gotta, I gotta help him out a little bit. Uh, what's this? Please give me. Thank you. something that may have been another rock falling Jornux Pass is right over there we might check that out okay over here oh have we seen this one before? I don't think so
Mm hmm. Curious. Yep, I see the notebook. This bitter cold is making my eyes glaze over. I fear my time is almost up. Faced with this frigid onslaught, I wolf down some sautéed peppers to ward off the cold and down them with a drink. But suddenly, a chill came over me. Strange, I thought. I'm fairly certain sautéed peppers are cold resistant. Then I looked at the bottle. I held in my hand a cooling elixir. I just taken a swig of a heat resistance beverage. It seems that if you eat a second dish, while the effect of the first dish is active, the original effect is lost. Failure is the amused bouche of learning, and I, Chef Ari Tabu, have eaten my share. My journey to culinary mastery continues. Oh, he didn't die here? I thought he'd be dead. Although there is no skeleton. Oh, shit. Where did you come from? Come here, you. Up, buddy, up. Not here. Okay. We're going to continue to here. Uh oh. Gotta watch out. Oh, shit. Forgot I'm shivering. Gotta head on out, dude. Long week ahead. Oh, all right, dude. Thanks for stopping by, man. Hope you have a good night. Hope you get a good rest. Catch you on the next one, dude. Ba -da -ba -ba. Oh, there's one left. <laughs> oh, can I do the uppity up here? Yeah. <laughs> A cool. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. This, this is going to take some doing. And where does that lead to? Maybe I will eat something. Three minutes, three minutes, three minutes might be enough. Yeah, because I'm gonna I'm gonna switch over to a more powerful weapon right now. Uh, all right, let's save first. Let's do, yeah, let's do this one. Because we can use those few little hearts as well. Okay. As for the weapon, let's go with this one. Okay, we're barely above the freezing temperature. All right. Damn it. 
Damn it. Damn it. Come on, get out of the way, get out of the way, dude. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. It's a bunch of black ones too, man. Those fuckers are tough. Got one. Shit. Move out of the way, move out of the way, move out of the way. Damn it! That that took a big chunk out of me. Okay. Get up, dude. Get up. Get up, get up, get up. What the hell? Got you. You're almost done, man. Woo, buddy. What are you doing, huh? Shit, that wind is not going to be back. Whoa, whoa. Well, that's it for that. This one. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Shit. Okay. That was good. We did it. Wait. Soldier shield. Guess we're dropping that, grabbing this. Have I taken that picture before? Not, no, I have not. Let's fix that. Cool. Nope, don't need it. What happens if I stick this thing to my, um... You know what, let's find out. No freaking way. Oh man, they're in trouble now. They're in trouble now. What is this? Picture time. No. Picture time. Feathered edge. Hmm. I will pick that up. Six. Ah, produces a strong wind. Okay, can I drop something maybe? Uh, I think it'll replace this one very well. Drop it. Nice. Okay. Got it. Uh-oh. 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 Go back to your other weapon. There it is. There we go. Good, 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 good. That was good. No? We still have some more. Whoa, what is this? Okay. Well, there's some more bokoblins over here. Do we even have some of the uh, lizard folk over there? Let me save again. Attack up. Heat. 
absorbing cloth. Hmm. I think I'm going to try that right now. I thought I had a, uh, some clothes that helped me to sneak better, but I do not. But this is cool. No, I don't need that. No. Wow. Effect, yeah. Four. Hmm. I'll do this one. Okay. Doing, huh? What are you doing, huh? That's right, buddy. Oops. Did that already break? There we go. Oh man, I could have just used this, huh? Okay, that's fine. I gotta, I gotta remember for the next one. We do have more. Whoa, 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 get back over here. Oh, come on. over here no it's gotta be um, this one wild berries okay okay what else? We have one of those whiz robes. Oh. Oh, okay. Talk to these folks. Oh, there's another one of these guys. I see a shrine. It's already marked. Horses coming. Okay, this one looks pretty simple in design. No, 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 no. Delete that, please. I think I'm going to start with this one. Whoops, 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 whoops. Sorry. Sorry. Okay.
Wait, did it, did it not attach? There it is. <laughs> I mean, I'm entirely blocking the sign, but that's okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just one? Whoa. Okay. Better than nothing, I guess. there. Are you here because you spotted the bonfires? The blizzard makes it hard to see where you're going. So we keep these bonfires going as a beacon for lost travelers. They help us a lot. They, they eat up a lot of firewood, but it's worth it. You could spot them even from up in the air. Though as proud as I am of them, they can't beat the spotlight set up around the fancy Skyview Tower. It warm it won't warm up warm me up like a bonfire will but it's hard to beat beat it for size and sheer brightness oh. the helians are pretty incredible to have built something so impressive did I already unlock that one I did right yeah 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 that's the one that I that I did mm -hmm. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Trailhead Lodge. Okay. Ah. What possessed the Helion to come out here? Don't act like you don't feel the weather. I can see you shivering inside. This isn't a good time to talk anyway. I was about to join Gassain in the effort to scavenge for food. The longer this blizzard goes, the harder it gets. Just to keep ourselves fed. Hmm. I'm waiting for Tulin. We were supposed to go looking for food together, but he's running late. Probably still getting ready at Rito Village. I can wait a little longer. What's up with you? Ah. We found these strange things at the foot of the Hebra Mountains. They're oddly shaped, aren't they? Mm. I've done every test I can think of, but I haven't learned anything. Not even what they're made of or what they're for. All I know is that they're pretty heavy and pretty sharp. It'd probably hurt if you got hit with one, huh? Well, I've got all I'm going to get out of these things. If you want them for some reason, they're all yours. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I'll take your wood, too. And your flint. And I'm going to smash up your boxes, hope you don't mind. Ah, you don't mind. You don't mind. Okie dokie. Oh, uh, whoops. Whoops. Come over here. Hey, what what the hell? What? Hey, 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 hey. Okay, let's try this again. Let's go this side, maybe. Yeah. 
Oh. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. That's the problem. The problem was me all along. Okay. I don't know. Over here. Over here. Over here. I, I, oh, you can't run with these things. Got it. Got it. Okay. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to startle you. Don't mind me. Just breaking shit. Oil jar. A mild oil extracted from plant seeds. It's very versatile in cooking and can coax flavors from ingredients used in many dishes. Also good for adding fuel to fire. Ah. Take your picture. Nah. Nah. Ah. I'm drawing up a special menu for those out scavenging for food or investigating. Ingredients are hard to come by in this blizzard, but we'll be fine if we get a little creative with our cooking. With the right ingredients, a little food can go a long way. For example, a pinch of spicy pepper warms you up so you don't notice the cold as much. We do not have many of them here, but you're welcome to what's available. Oh, you yeah, already took them. I already took them. In tough situations like this, everyone needs to look out for each other and help where we can. Yeah, I already took them. They're mine. Thanks. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. Hello! Stinky Cheese Man, hello, welcome. Thanks for joining. She sounds pretty good right about now. Is that? It is! Hey, bud! I had heard you were missing, but here you are, looking perfectly healthy to me. Tibra was worried about you, you know. Have you been to see him yet? I'm tempted to go tell him the good news, but I'm all tied up at the moment. Tibra should be in Rito Village, which is just south of here. I'm sure he'd be happy to get a visit from you. Okay. And that's all we have here. That's it. Um, let's break up the ice. Boom. No. There we go. So, that's over there. We didn't go over here, though, so let's do that little section. See what's going on there. What's this? Oh, this is where I killed those um, bokoblins. Where I just viciously murdered them. Whoa, what's this? Flight range. Huh. What is that down there, huh? Interesting. What? Who the hell? Have we seen this dude in the first game? He does not look familiar to me. First, I'm going to take this. Hoo-hoo! That archery set of left over from past training sessions. It's a shame they're simply collecting dust, but I have no other plans for them. You seem like someone who could put them to good use, Link. They're yours if you want them. Yeah, they're already in my pocket, dude. Thanks. I'm such an asshole, man. Ooh. Take a picture. Swallow bowl. Bowl? No, bow. Aha. Nice. Eight. Is that good? It's better than four. Okie dokie. What's up, dude? Oh, oh. Ooh, if it isn't Link. 
I am glad to see you safe and looking so well. As you may have heard, I retired from my position as elder and entrusted the village to Tiba's leadership. Now I spend my days here, at the flight range, helping mold the next generation of Rito warriors. I may look like an old fossil now, but I was quite the warrior in my day. I would have bested even Tiba. Not anymore, though. I'm just an old fuck. Uh, not so anymore, though. <laughs> what? Unfortunately, the equipment here has been damaged in the blizzard. I would like to install some new training device. I just, I'm just adding words here, sorry. But there's no telling when I'll be able to actually do so. This is a meaningful place for the Rito. I feel a duty to protect it. That said, the most these old bones can really manage is to prevent the flight range from being buried in snow. That's why I have to keep this fire going. Oh, this fire? Okay, all right. So I'm sure once I make the blizzard go away. Oh, uh, it's gonna help this guy. Right? Yeah, I'm sure. But I do think that's it. Um the trail. There's no trail going back up back around, but we're gonna we're gonna hoof it back over here. And then um try to try to cross that bridge. Which I already have an idea as to how we may do that. Horse, just keep going, horse. What are you, what are you doing? You want some love? Is that what you want? Okay. Alright, of course, you got it. Heaven forbid I have you work a little bit, huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. I see you, buddy. Ha ha! Ha ha! Oh, I love that. Ice Breath Lazalfo's tail. Cool. Oh. What's up? What's up? Come here. Come here. <laughs> oh, they turned into red choo-choos. Okay. Because of the fire. Now they're spicy. Oh, can I get this guy? Let me save. Let me save first because I'm <laughs> probably going to mess this up. <laughs> okay. Plus, they do attack from a distance. Might not be something I can do. Ah, oh, shit. Ha-ha! <laughs> too easy! Too easy! Take a picture? Can't carry. Yeah, you look pretty weak anyways. Cool. Cool. Over here, dude. Okay. Oh, are we not going to be able to get over here? That might not be able to happen. Huh? Maybe it's up here. Maybe there's a road up here. Yeah, this looks pretty flat over here. I think we'll be fine over here. Okay.
Um, what? Oh, shit. Oh, that's gonna be a big-ass uh, rock monster, I think. Alright, you better hang tight over here, dude. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Huh? Can you see me? You can't see me? These guys are weak. Oh, there is a black one. Shit. Let's come over here. Shit. He's not going to turn all the way around, though, huh? Genius. Well, we're not clear yet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Keep turning. Keep turning. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's badly damaged. Nah, bruh. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. These guys... They do hit pretty hard. Um, No, not this. Let's go ahead and do... Uh, no, 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 no. We don't need four minutes, but we could use the hearts. Shit. Speed up. Speed up. <sighs> oh, it took over the... Oh, that's exactly what I just read. Done. Shit. Shit. Oh, you're done. Oh, shit. You little fucker. Oh, dang it. Well, that's done. Get out of here. Hey, well, we got that. <sighs> took us a bit. It took us a bit. Oh! I will take that. Roasted wildberry. Cool. Oh, hell yeah. Six, 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 six. Eh. We'll get rid of you. Okay. 
Come on, dude. Okay. Whoa. Um. What? What? Oh, shit. Well, we're at a bit of an impasse here. Oh, you can't get over here? Alright. That's it for Bolt. We'll get him at the next table. There's the bridge. Okay, so... How are we going to do this? Um, first we save. And we're going to drop an acorn, was it? No, not that. <clears throat> huh. Mm, no. I thought it was like a special Helian acorn. Oh, crap. Well, I've got 21 of these. That didn't do nothing. Uh, Chica Lutrina? No. Shit, what was it? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. Kind of looks like an acorn. There it is. Pine cone. Pine cone. Got it. That's it. That's how we do it. Got it. I don't know, know why I must break up all of the ice frozen little ponds here, but I must. Whoa. More pine cones. Are they on the walls? Let me switch weapons. Oh no, that's not what that is. Whoa. Thought there were holes in this bridge. Whoa. 
Oh, I see you. I see you too. Mm-hmm, good. Of these. Oh, thank you. Ooh, that would have been a long fall. Nice. Nice. Come to Papa. Okay. Should I save again before entering? Okay. Main story stuff now. What's it been, like 15 streams since the last main story part that we played, I think, huh? Pretty sure. That's it? Oh. Cool. <laughs> okay. Oh, there is going to be a shrine up here. going through the actual entrance. Rusty what now? Nope. Don't want that. Oh. Hello. Hmm. Okay. Good to know that there's one available here. What's up, kids? Ah. How are things going, mister? Ah. We're about to practice our song. Ah. It's called the Song of the Stormwind Ark. We're all going to sing it together to save our village from the upheaval. Ah. Are you going to listen to our song, mister? Sure. 
Let's hear it. Yay, we love an audience. So we'll give it our best for you. Everyone ready? A one and a two and... Well, I'm not singing this. Okay. An arc, you say? <laughs> uh, it's called X, Gary. It's XXX now? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> ah, the original tweeterers here, huh? Okay, all right. This song is about the Ark that saved Riddle Village a long, long time ago. And it came all the way from Cybertron. Something bad happened then, just like it's happening now. Oh. Hey, that Stormwind Ark, is it really real? I'd be so happy if it was. Oh. It definitely is. Papa told me it's always watching over us, high in the sky. We could sure use its help with this awful blizzard. Most of the adults aren't around anymore because of the weird weather. Ah. Well, if we don't have the Ark, we don't have the adults. It's up to us kids to take care of the village. Practice is over for today. Gamli, you're in charge of food. And Molly, we'll need you to make arrows. Hell yeah, make me some arrows. Yeah. We've all got jobs to do, so let's do them. Hey. Yeah! Kid power! Oh, I see. So the leader just stays singing while they delegate work to the others. That's how that works. Good job. Good job. Did you like the song of the Stormwind Ark, mister? I can sing it again if you want. No, 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 no. That's all right. I'll be practicing the song here, so let me know if you change your mind. While everybody else is working. Jesus. It's all politics, man. It's all politics. Swallow's Roost. Home of the world-famous Riddle Down Bed. <laughs> oh, no. I did it again. The beds are too soft and inviting. <gasps> A customer. Who's sleeping? I wasn't sleeping, not me. Oh. Welcome to the Swallow's Roost Inn. We don't have any other guests at the moment, so rest easy and rest well. Oh. A regular bed is 20 rupees, and a silky soft riddle down bed is 50 rupees. Uh, silky soft? Hey. A silky soft riddle down bed is made with lots of riddle feathers. It's soft and fluffy and gives the best of sleeps ever. If you only sleep in one bed here at the Swallow's Roost, make it that one. As soon as my head hits a pillow, it's like someone threw a blanket over me. N not that I ever use the beds. When you wake up again, you'll be full of energy and ready to go. Uh, nah, I'm good. Aw, oh, okay. Come again when you want to use one of our comfy beds, I guess. What's going on here? Side mission. The Slippery Falcon. We have the best deals in the West. Wait a minute. Sugar cane. Goat butter. Oil jar. Ooh, arrows. It looks to be a collection of the Slippery Falcon's recommended recipes. Oh, hot buttered apple. First, you'll want to buy goat butter here at the Slippery Falcon. Simply cook goat butter and add an apple together, and the hot buttered apple is complete. Nut cake. 
Some ingredients may be short in supply due to, to the blizzard, but... Oh, wait. We appreciate your patience as we restock. First, you'll want to buy Tabantha wheat, goat butter, and cane sugar here at the Slippery Falcon. Oh, yeah. They don't have any wheat. Toss those three ingredients in a pot alongside your favorite type of nut to make nut cake. And for an added kick... Try substituting the nut with something else. An apple is a good starting point to experiment with. Fish pie. Some ingredients may be in short supply to the patients. First, you'll want to buy Tabantha wheat and goat butter here at the Slippery Falcon. Along with those, add rock salt and your choice of fish. Cook them all together. Ta-da! A fish pie ready to eat. If you don't add rock salt, you might find some... Some by mining from ore deposit. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. All right, good. Wait, I thought there was a side mission here. Hi. Oh, oh man, I think I'm getting sleep already. Ooh. I don't know if we're going to go five hours tonight. I don't know. For all of my two viewers right now. Oh, you're the best. You're the OGs, but I don't think I'm going to hit five hours. Uh, let's see what else we can do here. Full tummies make for happy riddle. That's why I like learning new meals out of the recipe book. I saw one in there that I know everyone would love. A fish pie made from staminoca bass. Doesn't that sound yummy? Problem is, I can't leave the village to catch a staminoca bass. Thanks to this dumbass blizzard. Thanks, Gary. I appreciate you being here, dude. I think it's, just, I think it's really just you. I think it's just you and me here. I have everything else. Tabantha wheat, goat butter, rock salt. But if I'm going to make a fish pie, I need the fish. I need staminoca bass. Oh, yeah, that is it. Okay. Pretty sure I have some on me, don't I? I know that smell. You have staminoca bass. St st staminoca bass. Don't you, mister? Is that for me? Uh, afraid not. <laughs> Can't ever miss you on your misadventures. Oh, thank you, dude. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, you don't want to miss what's gonna what's gonna happen to me. That's for sure. Cause you never know. Ah, <laughs> hmm. uh, okay. All right, it is. It is for you. Really? Thanks. Now we can cook something that'll make the whole village feel better. Okay, Mister. Hold out your hand. Wait, that's not fish pie, you liar. Biting simmered fruit grants a low level attack in oh attack enhancement okay in cold places you can eat this to boost your strength in cold places like up in the Hebra mountains it won't fill your belly but you're roaming outside the village I'm sure you'll find it useful you know cooking with ice fruit is pretty easy you should try it whenever you need a boost I love learning how to cook I'm gonna make cook I'm gonna I'm gonna cook stuff that's so tasty, makes everyone in the whole village smile. I love it when I can just complete a quest like right off the bat. <gasps> Hooray, a customer! Welcome to the Slippery Falcon General Store. Thanks for stopping by in spite of the weather. So, uh, what can I do for you, Mister? I'm here to sell you stuff. Hi. I don't really want to sell anything. Nah. Okay, is that all, or did you want something else while you're here? What is this place? This is a shop where you can buy cooking and ingredients, plus all sorts of other stuff. Although we haven't gotten much business since the blizzard took out the bridge. Hey, mister, have you seen the building with the big horse on top of it across the bridge? The people there... Oh, 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 hey! Stick of cheese, man. Thank you for following. I appreciate you. I guess it's two of us here, or three of us here. Thank you. A preach, a preach. The people there make these... Th Kind of thin books called newspapers? They used to be our best customers, but I haven't heard from them in a while. Okay, is that all or did you want anything else while you're here? Nope. Aw. Aw. Sorry, our shelves are kind of empty. Sorry my store sucks, mister. It's because of all the heavy snowstorms. If you need food like fish or mushrooms, you can try poking around the caves around outside of town. Caves? Oh. There's a bunch of caves. Along the road to the east. And even more of them in the Hebrew Mountains. Caves to the east? 
I didn't see any dang cave. Maybe like around this area? Maybe like around here, around this cliff sides? I think there would be caves there, maybe. Uh, she also said Hebra Mountain, so like all up here. Okay. Okay, sure. We'll do that next time. Yeah. What else do we have? Brazenbeak. We've got you covered. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Cold resistance. Oh, this would be perfect. Not a lot of, um, um, shield power, though. Lined with molted riddle feathers, this tunic was made by riddle artisans by Helians visiting cold climates. The feathers are, feathers are stacked in each layer to retain body heat. Interesting. Ain't got enough for that. Oh, okay. I think I would want to buy this one first. What you got over here? Nothing? There's a shrine. I think we're going to do the shrine. Hmm. Always love snow areas and games. Relaxing vibe for them. Yeah, yeah. It depends on the game. I think if it's like a... Like a platforming kind of a game. Usually ice areas can be a little bit tricky. You know, you're going to be slipping and sliding all over the place. But a game like this, as long as you're able to retain your heat. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. It's almost like Christmassy. Hi, hi. Thanks for coming in. Even though it's snowing so hard. It's cold in the village, but it's even colder on top of the mountain. You'll freeze solid at the peak if you don't... Find a way to keep warm. Lucky for you, we sell warm clothes. Oh. What brings you to the shop today? What the hell is this place? Oh. This is the Brazen Beak. Brazen Beak Armor Shop. We have warmer armor. I know it's chilly here, but you know what? They say it's even colder at the top of the mountain. You don't want to freeze up there, mister. Bundled up with these warm gear right here at the Brazen Beak. So, um, is there anything else? Nah, I'm good. Yeah. Are you leaving, mister? Let me give you a neat tip first. People are finding more caves all the time at the road east of here on the way to the Hebra Mountains. Caves are nice because they're warm. You can hide out from the cold there even if you don't have our outfits. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I knew that. I knew that. Plus, you can find shiny ores inside the sparky, sparkly rocks sometimes. Uh -huh. We'll pay a lot for those ores. And so will the folks at the general store. So keep an eagle eye out for them. I could sell stuff. I could totally sell stuff. I'm going to buy this one. Hi. Absolutely. That'll be 500 rupees. And let's put it on. Hi. Thanks for stopping by. Aha. Wait, what? By set? Part by set. Yeah, set. This one right here. Snow quill tunic. Right? Yeah. Oh, so it made it made the uh, the light blue part of the Fahrenheit gauge go down. Nice. Oh, that's why if I wear all three pieces. We'll be good. We'll be good. Oh, and the... Uh, the resistance to, like, damage... It's the same as the rest. Same as most of them. Okay, that's good. But now we're kind of broke. Maybe we can sell some stuff? Let me save it here real quick. Uh, maybe we can sell something. Yeah, I don't think I've ever really sold much of anything in this game. Yeah. Um, oh. A valuable ore that gives off a mesmerizing iridescence similar to the inside of a seashell. 
contains the power of water. Well, this is the most valuable thing, right? Oh, shit, I think I messed this up. There's no way to organize this by value? Shit. No, 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 no. Let's try that again. Damn it. Oh, that's whack. Hey, what's up, guy? Welcome, dude. Thanks for joining, man. 250? Whoa! Oh, that's that piece of the dragon. I'm definitely not going to sell that. Shit. Let's go fuse attack power, yeah. Huh. Thirty five, only have two of those. Yeah, of course the most valuable things I don't really have um that many of. Fuse attack seven, fuse attack seven. Oh, they're only worth five. Oh, that's whack. Thirty-five. Eighteen. I've got eight of these. I mean, I don't want to st start selling a whole bunch of stuff either. Here we go. This is the one. This is the one. Okay. And we should now have enough for something else. Right? Go with the pants. Give me the pants. Barely have enough for this. Cool. I do think I shall wear them now. There we go. I'll get that headpiece. Funny how the headpiece isn't like an actual hoodie, though. Something that, that looks like it'll keep you warm. 650. Okay, let's get enough for that. Damn, worth 80. Topaz. I need 650, right? 200? Bruh. Okay, that's 400. How much did I need? 650? Not my flint. Okay, seven. Uh, let's see if that's enough. I'm good. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Man, if this is PlayStation, you know there'll be some kind of a trophy popping. There we go. Got it. Wait. 
Oh, so the cold doesn't go completely away. Oh, there's only two marks for the gold, for the cold um, to go down. Okay, I see, I see. So it's kind of pointless to wear all three? I mean, this, this hoodie doesn't do anything. I may as well wear it. Wear it. Okay. All right. Good to know. See, now I don't have to worry about keeping this flaming weapon equipped. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love it. What's over here? Wakey, wakey. Enjoy the food. Okay, all right. It's over here. Ooh, we can do some cooking, huh? Soup level. Have I taken that picture? I sure have. Pot lid. Who's singing? Oh, that's the, the boss girl. The delegator. Okay. Where can we break this? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Thank you. Okay, the shrine is right down there. Okay. Let's check over here first. Mission. Ah. Hmm, how about this one? Huh? huh? You need some, mister? Because I'm actually kind of busy. Oh. My papa told me you can use ice fruit to freeze monster solid. Wow. Idea for an invention. <laughs> My problem is, I can't go out to pick fruit right now with the blizzard and all. Oh. Ugh. So not fair. This is the best invention I've come up with in so long. But without ice fruit, I can't make it. Do I have some on me? I think I have some on me. Huh? huh? Mister, I felt a cold breeze coming from your pouch. Hey, nosy? Huh? huh? Mister, what's this you've got? That's the ice fruit I wanted, isn't it? Whoa. Looks like you've also got some cold jelly-like stuff. Is that white choo-choo jelly from one of the monsters that'll freeze you solid if you touch it? Oh. Wow! It's not exactly what I had in mind, but I bet I can use that to make my big invention. May I have one of either the ice fruit or the white choo-choo jelly, please? Ah, uh, you can take the fruit. Wow. Yay! Now I can finally make my invention. Oh. When I attach this to the tip of an arrow, I'll have an arrow that can freeze monsters from far away. Sometimes I'm so smart, I scare myself a little. I wonder what would happen with other materials. You could make arrows with all sorts of effects. Wow, listen to me. With every breath, I spew out brilliance. <laughs> but I should probably stop talking before I give away all my best ideas. Anyway, here's a thank you present. Ah, nice. Oh. You know the reason I like making making arrows? It's my papa. He creates the strongest bows around. I wanted to make arrows that'd go perfectly with his bows. All I have to do is keep working hard, getting my name out there, and one day, ah. I'll be a world famous arrow maker. What my papa can be proud of. All right, good job, kid. I'll take these too. What? Ah. Ah, those are mine, mister. Hold on. Is your problem that you don't have enough wooden arrows? 
It's important to help each other in times of need. That's what my papa says. So if you want them, they're yours. Well, they're already in my pocket. So, um, not giving them back, kid. Sorry. Finders, keepers. Such a butt face. Okay, let me save here again. Got some important stuff coming up. That's not fair at all. You know I can handle it. Checking out that huge cloud wouldn't be hard. I could even do it alone. <sighs> if we don't do anything, the village... Who are you? Oh, Tulin. Young Rito warrior. Mm. Link, they told me you were missing. It's good to see you doing well. Tiba, new Rito elder. <gasps> it's very nice to see you again. Hmm. Do you remember my son, Tulin? He's grown taller, though perhaps not yet grown up. Uh. Dad! Well, maybe I would if you didn't treat me like a hatchling all the time. <laughs> as long as you still think you can take on the world by yourself, you'll always be my little chick. Uh. Dad, what? You, th you, you think I can't? I'm already fully fledged, you know. You'll change your tune when I ace today's scouting trip. You all can, wait, who's talking? You all can keep wasting your time treating the song of the Stormwind arc like it's real, but not me. Later, dude. Listen, you. Unbelievable. Tulin wants me to let him go find, wait, who's talking? Tiba, right? Who's talking? I don't know who's talking. Tubin wants me to let him go find what's causing the blizzard. He's having trouble hearing no. Uh, he mentioned a song? Uh. Saki, that's the female. It's an old folk song here in Rito Village. Long, long ago, when we faced a different sort of upheaval, the village was saved thanks to a great, excuse me, flying ship. Or so claims the song that's been passed down through generations. Hmm. It's a song for children, mind you. A few adults still parrot it as if it were true. Still, every now and then you get reports among the Rito of a flying ship. Combine that with the blizzard caused by this upheaval, and it seems less far-fetched. Oh no. Even if the song of the Stormwind Ark is just a children's rhyme, I suspect that there is something lurking high in the sky. But the air is so turbulent now that no Rito can fly close enough to look into it. This is why I, we need to make careful preparations to find the truth. But Tulin, he thinks we cling to that song out of cowardice. Hmm. But these are Rito matters. You came for some purpose, yes? Uh. What? This is terrible news. So then, not even Hyrule Castle is safe. If Princess Zelda's disappearance and the strange phenomena around the world are related somehow, hmm. We, Rito, would ordinarily love to contribute to your search, but this ab abnormal blizzard shows no sign of stopping. And food has grown scarce. Everyone I could spare is already out researching the blizzard or scavenging for food. Mm. My husband hasn't been able to leave the village much since becoming the elder, the village elder. Hmm. I wish there was something I could do. Hmm. Ah, maybe I'm not the only one. Maybe I'm not the one you want. 
should try asking Harth. My friend Harth has many sources of information, so I might already have a lead about Princess Zelda. You see the two bonfires out that way? Oh, I was just over there. I was just over there, dude. Why, why did he already... He's in the lodge near there. If you'd like to try visiting him. I'm good at reading. Reading good, am I? To this profile has been added. Oh. Tulin. Tulin's profile. Tiba's. Tiba's profile. Mm-hmm. And uh, Saki. Wow, Saki doesn't get a profile. That sucks. Sorry, Saki. Sorry. What's the sign say? Ravali's Landing. I think Ravali was the name of the previous character, but I'm not 100% sure. Ooh, ooh, bah, bah, bah. Hmm. What? Okay. Okay, alright. Nothing over here. Okay, we're gonna go back down here. How'd I miss this, huh? Oh boy. Let's -a do this. Oh, it's one of those different ones. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Oh, I thought it was the different one. Okay, never mind. Okay. Ride the winds. First, we take a good look around. Okay. Okay, here we go. Wait. Here we go. Oh, shit. I... I tried to land right in front of the, the wind tunnel. Okay, let's, let's, let's try that again. Oh, shit. Okay. And where are we supposed to land? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay. All right. Made it. Wait, what? Oh my god, okay. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, are you... Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Hang on. Shit. Oh, boy. Oh, no! My loot! Oh, shit. Uh-oh. First, grab this. Eleven. You 
far. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. There we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, I see. I see. I'm gonna get the one up on top first. Okay. Be gone with you, buddy. Oh shit, something broke. Could have been bad. That could have been bad. Okay, are we gonna go in there? Where are we going? Where are we going? It's gotta be up. It's gotta be up, right? Shit. Wait, it's a button again. Woo! Woo! Okay, that was... That was good. Gotcha. This is our second piece. Yeah. We're halfway there. And we got all our hearts back. Cool. Okay. Oh, what's in here? Ha ha! I knew it! <laughs> Here. Hold this for me. Oh, you little... You got lucky this time. <laughs> you got so lucky. Um, We're gonna go... Back over here. Is it over here? I think so. Oh, it was way up there. Let's go back up. Let's go back up. I want to see if I can glide over to the... Uh, to the section that we were at before. Can I use that as a shortcut? Saki, hello. Saki, that's a Japanese drink. I'm surprised they named her that. Saki. Okay. Yep, we keep going higher. Right. Um, hang on. Hang on a second. Is it out here? No, it's got to be higher up, right? Yeah, it's way up there. How do we get way up there? I don't think we climb. Do we? Huh, maybe, maybe we do climb. This should be interesting. Oh, there's ice. 
Might not be climbable. Yeah, that's not going to be doable. I don't think so. Oh, it's getting colder up here, too. Okay. Where's north? It's going to be up here then. Maybe I can make it from here? Uh, we're going to find out. Is it ice all the way around though? It is, isn't it? Okay. I'm sure I'll get up there eventually. Just not right now. Um, you know... Ah, uh, here we go. That's right. Oh, can we get up this chain? Nah. It's not gonna help us. Okay. What if I get over here, huh? No, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. <laughs> I should have just gone straight. I think we'll be fine. We're totally fine. We got this. Made it. Boom. What's up? I guess our horse is too far from here, huh? Oh, there's some ladders back here. I didn't even see them before. Uh, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Oh, so those just lead lead up to the uh, tower, I believe. What's that sign say? Hebrew Mountain Climbing Path. Oh. What is it? Did you still have some business here? Ah, uh. ah. So you're looking for Princess Zelda? Sorry to tell you that I haven't heard anything about her. Uh. Our feathers are full dealing with a more immediate problem. Everyone from the village has left to scavenge for food or to investigate the cause of this terrible blizzard. Hmm. And all that has been hampered by the sky monsters that seem to be everywhere. We're spread too thin to deal with them properly on top of everything else. Sorry, bud. I wish I could do more for you. Oh. Though, now that I think of it, maybe Tulin can help. Who's that? <laughs> oh, right. You weren't around for it, but little Tulin ha has developed a way with wings that puts the adults to shame. Even in this vicious weather, he patrols the skies and reports all kinds of useful information. His gust, wind gust technique is something to see. None of the rest of us can pull it off. Even stern Tiba acknowledges that Tulin's skill is a cut above. The kid does preen about him more than he should, but, well, it's worth asking him at least. Last I saw him, he was with uh, Gassain and Lisa on a trip to find food. Ah, I think they were on their way to Hebra South Summit Cave. That's to the northeast of here. The cave is past the cliff out front and up the mountain road. There should be a bonfire mark in the spot. Ah. Find the bonfire at the mouth of the cave, and you'll be on your way to finding Tulin. Ah. We're off to an adventure. 
Whoops. Missed it. There we go. Is it on the map? It's not on the map. I gotta find the bonfire in front of the cave. This body of water looks weird. Should just be up here. Hopefully not too far. There it is. I see it. Hey, Jasmine, What's up, dude? Welcome. Oh, that's not a cave. Unbelievable. Unbelievable that these huge One things are... Stand. Oh, shit. One shall fall. Thank you, Jasmus. Ah. Ah. Unbelievable that these huge things are raining down on us. What is happening up there in the skies? Hmm? Oh, oops. I hadn't expected to meet a Helian here. What are you doing in the mountains in this weather? Don't you see how cold it's gotten? Our feathers keep out the worst of it, but I'm not sure how you can stand the blizzard. Ah. If you go farther up this slope, you'll see the Heber South Summit Cave. My friends are there now gathering provisions. There are glowing mushrooms and fish to be had, which come in handy. They keep a bonfire stoked at the cave entrance to mark their location. If the cold gets too much for you, find that bonfire and warm yourself up in the cave. Will do. Thank you. All right. We got some um, ice bats coming up. Oh, shit. We're cobbling, too. B -b 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 cobbling. What's up, dude? Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna use a weaker bow. I mean, it's just you guys. Uh huh. Oh, hey, I got you, I got you. Take a picture. Whoops. Whoops. Get down. Don't get spotted. Don't get spotted. Don't get spotted. There we go. Oh, 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 what are you going to do? What the hell were you about to do, huh? That's right. That's right. Give me your shit. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? No! 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 Woo! Later! What's up now? What's up? Yeah, what's up? Wait, wait. I need something better here. We can make do. We can make do with that. Oh, you little shit turd. You mother effer. Oh shit, here comes trouble. Here comes trouble. Nope, 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 nope. We're all getting knocked around over here, huh? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Dude, whip up. Hey, 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 whoa. Come on, man. I'm just, I'm just minding my own business here. All right, all right. You know what? Let's do a little bit of an upgrade here. Okay, all right. Well, didn't exactly go as planned. Uh, 
this. There it is. Uh huh. Sub now. Sub now, bitch. Damn it. So when he starts swinging, nothing can stop it, huh? That's bullshit. No, 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 no. That is bullshit. That's right. That's right. Fuck you. Oh. Freaking annoying. Now we'll not be taking that. gonna be farther up uh, let's see yeah it's gonna be like up here somewhere probably Carvash Peak give me that sweet steak whoa up here I'm just being nosy wait is that it oh is that really it I thought it was gonna be like over here Okay, cool. Guess not. I will take it. Alright, what's over here though? Uh-huh. sure there's gonna, there's gonna be something else up here right better be good no no uh no that's it Okay, that was whack. That's okay. Let's get in that cave. Talk to, uh... What's his name? Tobin? Toby? And toasty. Hebra South Summit Cave. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Lisa. If you're looking for Tulin, he and Gassain went deep into the cave to scavenge for food. It's a long way to where they are, though. And I can't exactly go with you. The moment I take my eyes off our stuff, I just know some monster's going to come along and snatch oh. it. If you're going in to find Tulin, watch out for the creature that hops around on the walls in there. Ugh. I don't think it'll hurt you if you stay away from it, but you never know. See, that's one of those um, cave dwellers. If I'm not mistaken. Chillfin trout. This blue trout prefers cold bodies of water. Its skin contains enzymes that keep its body cool. And when cooked into a dish, it will temporarily boost your heat resistance. Very nice. Thank you. Um, yeah, those other guys are just gone. Come on, man. Huh. Okay. anything whoa oh shit dude oh, man. okay well that is something Whoa, 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 whoa. There's no water in here. What? Oh, there is. Hello. How we doing? Okay, well, this is going to be tricky. That wasn't so bad. There he is. 
Okay. Let's go for something more substantial here. I'm too far. Aren't I? Oh, that was good. That was good. and slow. Oh, we're definitely going to drop something. What is it? Oh, uh, it doesn't have the number. Um, seven? Okay. Shit. Huh? Pine cones. We'll bring that one back over here. Whoops, whoops. There we go. I know what I have to do. Glowing cave fish. There it is. Right there. Got it. I'll grab you first. You guys are delicate. You guys need a delicate touch. Got you. Done. Okay. And. Crap. Gotcha. Gotcha. Any more? save and um, what do we need a fire Okay, and then um, Hey Slayer, what's up? 
Welcome, dude. Didn't get to finish Wild Rider. Hopped off Twitch. Had to go, didn't come back till four. Hmm. By then, uh, by the time I played the colors, got dark outside. That's how it happens, dude. That is how it happens. Maybe today? Maybe today you got a chance? Okay. Right here we go. There we go. Made it. Made it. Today should be the day. Nice. Nice. Very nice. I didn't get to finish filming the outside the box today, too. I was, um, went over to my folks' place after work because, um, there was some good cooking that was got done. So I'm not going to say I don't know that. And when I got home, I was like, I don't really feel like filming much. What is that? Oh, these guys. So I'm just screaming instead. 80% yellow, 10% blue, 7.5 black, and 2.5 turquoise. Wow, that's simple to mix? That sounds pretty involved. I mean, as long as you're measuring it properly, yeah, you'll be fine. I don't do a whole lot of mixing of paints myself, you know? Not until, like, lately, I would. More often. Oh! Uh, I knew it. I knew it. Game saved for a reason. What is going on now? Somebody's shooting at me. Somebody's shooting. That's the color disparity? Color disparity? That mixing ratios. Oh, I see. I got you. I got you. I see what you're talking about now. I get what you're cooking. I get what you're cooking now. Cool deal. Uh, back to this one. It knew. Yes, sir. Should I even? Nah, I'm not gonna waste it. Mm-hmm. I see you. I see you, little shit. What? What? Oh, that means there's gonna be a big ass rock at the end of this cave. I can already tell. It's giving us a little taste. Yeah, that's right. Turquoise is just on his face. Mm, black on the tires. Okay. You've never used rubber black? From Tamiya? I mean, it, it's essentially like a really, really, really dark gray. But it's a, a little bit better for, I guess, tires to simulate the rubber. The head to the chest. Blue is the arms and windows. Everything else yellow. Nice. Yeah, it doesn't sound too complex. Oh, you have that three pots of it. Nice. Yeah, it it is pretty common. I mean, for for me, for a lot of a lot of customizers. I mean, a lot of things have tires in them, you know. Although, although, truthfully, I I would imagine it's super easy to to make it again. Just I don't know what the ratio is between black and white, though. I, I know it's a lot of black, without a doubt. Oh, that's why you got three? Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Gassane. What are we doing to do with that boy? It's just like him to fly off on his own and leave all the food we collect behind. Oh. 
Well, I'll be. What is a Helian doing all the way up here in such a fierce blizzard? Mm. You're here to talk to Tulin, eh? You just missed him, unfortunately. Our task was to scavenge food in this area, but we just saw a flock of monsters fly out past outside the cave. The same ones that have been centered around the village lately, in fact. Mm. I told the others we should return right away to report them, but Tulin clearly wasn't listening at all. He said, I'm going to follow them back to their nest and flew off alone before I could protest. If you leave the cave and head north, <sighs> you can spot a lone cedar tree in Talonto Peak. That's where we saw the monsters. No doubt Tulin followed them there. Huh. Mm. I know he thinks he's unbeatable, but he really shouldn't be taking these chances. Got it. We have our next destination. Got you. I think it's missed with gray instead of black. I mean, isn't it achievable with black? I don't see why it would be. No, sir. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. And where does I keep going north? Excuse me? Ah, the pine cones. Pine cones right up there. Yeah. We're going to take these little fuckers off, though. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. I uh, just watched a YouTuber. Mainly plays and streams GTA 5. Finish RDR2 main story. He got here at the end. Nice. YouTuber. Was it on YouTube? I, I'm, 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 I'm guessing. I wonder how long it took him. Probably nine parts black, one part white. Black and white makes a uh, normal gray. It makes evenly. Yeah. I believe that. I believe that. All right. We've got... What is this? Uh, what should I do? What should I do? We're going to use one of the better ones. <laughs> YouTuber previously critiques RDR2 for being too slow and didn't finish it ages ago he would play RDR2 without, without complaining I think that's pretty common man I think that's pretty common it is very different as, as far as the uh, momentum of other games Rubber Black um, once fully dries looks so convincing Whole spoon, a <laughs> little cure. During kitchen, mom thought it was like an actual rubber spoon. Nice, yeah, because it's because it's a it's a flat color, it's not glossy, you know. Uh, let's see. Nah, do this one instead. Wait, why do I have, oh, all right. I don't have a shield equipped. Critical thing I've seen earlier too, too slow, definitely slow, but it's a game you do not want to rush. 
True. I think I think I would still say that the controls themselves the controls themselves are not what's the right word? They're not elegant, you know? Maybe even a little bit clumsy. And so that's what takes a bit to to get the hang of, you know? Still though, it's such a minor detractor. Ah. <laughs> Got you. Ooh. Soldier's bow, 14. I'm going to drop. I'm going to drop you. And grab you. Clearly, game, sit back, chill, play, take the world, character, and everything. Yeah, I just think that's a sequel to RDR1. RDR1, from what I remember, plays a little differently. It's not, it's not the exact same thing as RDR2, but it's similar, though. Similar. Okay. Hmm. I did say like an hour ago that I was gonna have a shorter stream today. Don't know exactly what time I'm gonna call it. I think pretty soon. Um, I don't feel I, I don't feel like a full five or to six hour stream in me tonight GTA 6 similar control scheme from the leaks oh really okay I've never finished a GTA game never this might actually be the first for me okay we have this guy definitely no um, supply thingamajiggy around here. Yeah, minor thing um, to get upset as you'll eventually get used to them like any other game. Sure, yeah. Yeah. 100%. That's an odd, oddly placed rock. Uh, GTA 6, you can carry bodies. Might you can hide, hide them from the police, or if you're cruel, to the paramedics. Oh my God, I can only imagine. I can only imagine. Oh, that rock's gonna hold this in place. Maybe that's all it'll take. Right? Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Hey. Hey. Ta da! Not as complicated as I thought it was going to be. Ah! Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Ooh. Puff shroom. Ah. Cool. Hope they bring back the six stars in GTA 6. Games with six stars, you can get the military after you? What? Oh, GTA 5, they took it away. Highest level didn't um, give you any special authority. Just a shit ton of helicopters and, and cars. Wow. I'm familiar with the star system. I don't know they went up to six in some games, though. Ooh, that's crazy. <laughs> Fuck. No. Come on. What 
the heck is this place? Oh my god. God. Dude, hide that ass. Going for the big guns. Sixers was intense. The military, obviously, very powerful, yeah? Carry shotguns, which in the old GTAs were broken. Such a car fire in two shots. I think I've seen videos for that. I think I've seen that. <laughs> Tanks, which will explode. Explode you if you touch them. What? Did the fact they had a military base, but they didn't go out of their base at all. And there are only two special vehicles in there. What? Dude, hide, hide that what now? <laughs> he's got his he's got his bare bare cheeks. Just showing off in the the cold air. I don't wanna see that. I don't wanna see that. Nobody wants to see that. Oh shit. Alright, get ready for Whoa 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 whoa! Oh did a little bit of damage. I want them all in one spot. Boom! Shakalaka! <laughs> I think I took out all of them, all the little ones. Uh, that's what you thought I said. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Can we go for a headshot? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. What, is your weapon on fire, dude? Oh, shit. I want that weapon. I want that weapon, dude. I can probably switch over to a not-so-strong one. Or what if we just set him on fire instead, huh? Is he? I thought it was eating to regain his health. <laughs> nah, okay. Toasty chill shroom. How can something be toasty and chilled at the same time? Just just don't question it. Don't question it. Uh let's see, what are we gonna drop? Wow, it's higher than eight, huh? Gotta get rid of the five. There we go. So I have to say, RDR2 had some of the best scenery I've seen in a game. Oh, 100%, man. 100%. I agree with that. Every part of the world looks beautiful. Yeah. Super well-crafted. Okay. I'm a little confused why the marker is behind us. I'm pretty sure I have to go all the way up there. Uh. 
pretty sure. Alright, well let's let's get to climbing. Oh, that's a that's a bacoblin. All right, let's free the little dude. Can we? Yes, we can. Gotta be careful, though. Gotta be careful. We're gonna get attacked. Oh, there's a store sticking out. Sword and an arm. <laughs> oh! I'm gonna Well that sucks That was anticlimactic Pretty sure this is where we need to go, right? Right? Another critique I have. Uh, that when you make your own ammo, you can only make one at a time. Maybe 300 bullets. Uh, you have to make them individually. Hold down X. I'll make craft can be your your phone it's so long boring i mean that's part of the but that, that's part of the realism that's part of the clumsiness of the uh of the controls in a bit too but they do that for a purpose you know that's how you would do it in real life i'm guessing i'm guessing you know Okay. Okay, here we are. I see the little bird to the side. Let me first climb up this thing. Can I get to the top? Make it to the top. Oh, I see you. I see you. Uh huh. Get over here. Same with cooking. Mm -hmm. Only cook one uh, piece of meat at a time. 99 pieces of meat. It's every meat that happens to be raw. Yeah. Sure. It's not optimized for gameplay. Can I jump down? Oh, shit. I almost bungled that up. Oh, that's him. Let's save it. Okay. Stupid monster. What? Link, where did you come from? What happened? Oh, uh, you see, that rotten monster took my good bow. See? That's the bow napper. I 
got to get it back. Help me out, Link. Sure. Really? Thanks. Did you know I can blow a strong gust of wind anywhere I feel like? I'll do it for you, too. That way you can glide over to where that monster went. Mm -hmm. Just tell me where to point the gust, and I'll make it for you. Tulin's power of wind. Oh! When Tulin's aura is charged, he can create a stream of wind that blows straight forward. This can be used for bursts of speed while paragliding. Nice. Very nice. Trying to finish off Wall Rider. Got my weathering paints rather early. Surprising. Maybe I can do Scourge. Nice, dude. Well, good luck, man. Do post pictures. I want to check that out. It's going to be nice. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, let me save again. Uh, no, Link. Oh, shit. Am I going to make it? Yeah. Okay. And so now what? Uh, let me try this one. This isn't going to work. Oh, it is. It is! Oh. There we go. Ah, oh, you're a big time, Link. Without you, my boy might have been lost for good. Uh-oh. Oh no. There's more of them! Uh, uh oh. All right. They're not going to make a fool out of me twice. Let's go get them. Wait, hang on, dude. Hang on. Hang on. Let's be mindful about this. That's right, buddy. Shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cheapy ones, huh? No, we don't need that much. We don't need any cold. Uh, yeah, we'll do this one. Falcon bow. What's up, buddy? You done? We did it! We... Hey, look. I think this might have been a hideout for those monsters. Uh-oh. What? Uh -huh. Hmm? Was that the wind? It couldn't have been. There's no way. It must have been something else. Oi. Hey! Tulin! Link! Huh? huh? Oh! Oh! That was some impressive teamwork, you two! Aw, you saw that, Hearth? Talk about embarrassing! I... 
didn't listen when Gassane tried to stop me. I thought I could handle it. But I just ended up losing my favorite boat of those stupid things. I thought I was fully fledged. But there's probably no way I could have gotten it back on my own. Mm. I bet now you see why we were treating you like a small chick. Yeah. Uh -huh. You were right. It really is important to work as a flock. I think I finally get what Dad was has been trying to tell me all this time. Mm. All right. Is that all there is to the story? Seems unlike you to let your bow be taken, Tulin. Huh. Oh, yeah. Funny story about that. There was this whole thing with Princess Zelda. I spotted her getting attacked by a monster. It was such a surprise that I dropped my guard and it stole my bow. But I guess she was fine. Because, because then she zoomed up above that cloud. Uh -huh. What? Princess Zelda flew above the cloud? How can that be? Hmm, seems like a stretch, but we're not going to get to the bottom of the sitting around here. Oh. Tulin, Link came out here looking for Princess Zelda. You should go with him and investigate the cloud you say the princess soared to. <laughs> huh? But I thought I wasn't allowed. Oh. I got a report f before coming here. We think it's likely that the blizzard is coming from inside that cloud after all. I want to see for myself as soon as I can, but the strong winds make any approach from the sides impossible. The only way in is through the top, but... There's not a Rado alive capable of crossing this stormy sky and making it all the way there. Well, except for one. I'm talking about you, Tulin. Only way you have the skill and training to create gusts at will. Tulin will be the finest Rito warrior of all once he understands the value of working with his allies. Oh. You know who said that to me? Your old dad, Tiba. Huh. Dad said that? Oh. Yep. And I'll make sure he knows what you accomplished here today. Now it's time you go with Link to find Princess Zelda and whatever's causing that blizzard. Uh -huh. No problem. The two of us together have got this. <laughs> I saw Princess Zelda up in the Sky Islands near Hebra Peak. Let's check there first. Oh. Tulin, Link, we're counting on you. Mm -hmm. First I'll pick up my stuff. Uh, no. That was this. Ooh. Mm. Get rid of that one. Pick up this one. 14. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so where are we going next? Ah, uh, okay. Um. Okay, we're going to save here. And save the rest for next time. Oh, that's going to do it for me today. I am pooped. I think I need to have um some kind of a snack tonight. I'm kind of hungry. But yeah, I can feel it. But that was fun. I enjoyed it. I hope you all did too. Thank you all so much for joining me tonight on this uh, mini adventure. I mean, it's three hours and 50 minutes. It's not too bad. We did pretty good. I will try to be back tomorrow. Keep an eye out on the Discord. 
Um, thank you, Gary. Good of you to be here, dude. Always appreciate you. I am going to try to finish filming the next out, Outside the Box. I have uh, two other boxes to film for that one. But if I finish early enough, I'll, I'll get back on. So we'll see. We'll see. All right. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Adios.